Assalamu alaikum dear students as you've been knowing uh, that uh, right now we are discussing the circulatory system and I told you already that in the circulatory system we will be discussing this lesson into three subtopics in three subheadings number one is the blood vessel that we already like discussed in the previous two lectures the number two subtopic that we have discussed is the blood and then in the upcoming lectures inshallah we will be discussing the heart for now in this video we will be focusing on blood what is the blood what constitutes the blood what are the different cells in the blood and what is the rbc what is the wbc what is the plasma we will be discussing every bit of that so beta we are right now discussing the second topic of the circulatory system that is the blood so regarding blood i want to tell you that blood is also known as the connective tissue vascular you can roughly call blood also as a connective tissue vascular and then there is about 5 to 5.5 liter blood in the body with a ph of 7 to 8 which roughly approximates to 7.45 and regarding the blood in blood there are two components as i have shown here in this part of the board that component one and component two the component one are the cells which constitute about 45 percent of the blood and the component two is the plasma which is 55 percent of the blood so what i'm trying to say is that blood has got two components one is a cell and another is a plasma and regarding the cells the all cells together inside the blood the all cells we call them as the blood cells or packed cell volume or hematocrit which constitute about 45 percent as i already mentioned and the second component of blood is the plasma which i told you already that it's 55 percent what actually is plasma it is the water in the blood is the ions in the blood is the proteins in the blood is the nutrients in the blood is the wastes and gases in the blood so what i'm trying to say is that blood got two components one is the cell and another is the plasma so bete abhi abhi humne bola ki blood ke do components hai ek to cells aur to plasma अब सवाल उठेगा कौन कौन सी सेल्स है ब्लड के अंदर सो so, बेटा इस बोर्ड पे मैंने तमाम सेल्स दिखाई है जो ब्लड के अंदर है एक्चुअली बेटे देर इज अ कॉमन प्रो जेनेटर सेल देर इज अ कॉमन मदर सेल एक्चुअली जिसको हम कहते हैं बेटा पी एच एस सी ये एक मदर सेल है जिससे तमाम ब्लड सेल्स अराइज हो जाती है इस पी एच एस सी का फुल फॉर्म है बेटा प्लूरोपोटेंट हिमेटोपोटिक स्टम सेल जो ये प्लूरोपोरन हिमाटोपोटिक स्टेम सेल है जो ये मदर सेल है यही वो सेल है जो तमाम सेल्स को जो ब्लड के अंदर है उनको अराइज करती है जो बेटा ये पी एच एस सी है इनिशियली गिव राइज टू टू सेल लीनियज टू सेल्स वन इज द माइलॉइड एंड अनदर इज अम्फॉइड सेल देन दिस माइलॉइड गिव राइज टू फोर अदर सेल्स वन इज द रेटिक्यूलोसाइट एंड अदर इज द मेगा कैरियोसाइट another is the granulocyte which is of three types the neutrophil the eosinophil and the basophil and another beta is a monocyte and that the lymphoid cell it gives rise to the t cell the b cell and the nk cell so what i'm trying to tell here is that there is a common progenitor cell that's a phsc what the full form is is a pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell it give rise to every other cell in the blood it initially give rise to two cell lineages or two cells one is the myeloid and and there is a lymphoid then the myeloid give rise to four cells the reticulocyte the megakaryocyte the granulocyte and the monocyte while is the lymphoid give rise to the three cells the t cell the b cell and the nk cell so these are the seven cells that are there in the blood the reticulocyte the megakaryocyte the granulocyte the monocyte the t cell the b cell and the nk cell and the entire process of formation of these all cells the formation of these seven cells from the phsc from the mother cell from the pluripotent hematopoietic cell stem cell is known as hematopoiesis so there's the other point that i want to discuss right now is the hematopoiesis 
So anyone asks you what the hematopoiesis is a process of formation of all these cells from the PHSC. So another point you see, but the number five cell that I have shown here is a T cell, the number six cell, the B cell, the number seven cell, the NK cell, these are together known as lymphocytes. So if anyone asks you what is a lymphocyte, lymphocyte is actually the T cell, the B cell and NK cell together. So another point. Again, the five cell, that's the T cell. Again, the sixth cell, that's the B cell. The seventh cell, that is the NK cell. And the number four cell, that is the, the monocyte. These four cells together, beta, we call as the a granulocyte. So, a granulocyte is actually the 5, 6, 7, the lymphocyte plus the monocyte. And the number next point again, beta, the T cell again, the B cell again, the NK cell again, the monocyte again, and plus the third cell, that's the granulocyte. When we take these cells together, the T, the B, the NK, the mono, the granulocyte, these are known as beta, W, B, C, or as you know, the white blood cell. The white blood cell, or as you know, beta, the leukocyte. So, beta, the leukocyte hai, ये actually पांच cells है, the T cell, the B cell, the NK cell, the monocyte and the granulocyte. And one important thing is that you should be able now to differentiate between the lymphocyte and the leukocyte. Lymphocyte is actually only three cells, the T cell, the B cell and the NK cell. While as a leukocyte, the WBC, the white blood cell is yes the T, yes the B, yes the NK, but besides it also includes the monocyte and the granulocyte. So these are important points about the cells. And one other thing is that this reticulocyte, this first cell, it then forms the RBC. You know the RBC, the most abundant blood cell, that's the red blood cell. And another thing is that this megakaryocyte then goes on to form the platelets. We have discussed the platelets in the blood clotting where I told you that it helps us in the platelet plug formation and then it helps us in the clot formation and then it helps us in the clot dissolution. So, bete, humne sari cells padi blood ke andar. There are some important properties about these cells, important counts, important comments, jo aapko yaad honi chahiye, especially wo wala bacha jo aspire kar raha is saal ka need examination dene ke liye. But this is a hot topic. I tell you for sure, a question has, has to come from this part. So, please you pay attention. Or try to memorize job को यहाँ पे बोला जा रहा है बेटा। So बेटे जो reticulocyte है जो मैंने कहा बाद में ये RBC बनता है, red blood cell बनता है और इसी का दूसरा बेटा erythrocyte है। इसका जो count है, it is around five to five point five million per millimeter cube of blood. By saying five to five million, I mean to say बेटे this is the most abundant blood cell. RBC is the most abundant blood cell. And then बेटा the structure of RBC is it is biconcave. This structure in here is a kind of spherical. But this cell in here, it is concave on this side. It is concave on this side. Your RBC look like this. It's biconcave. It's not spherical. And then the RBC is denucleated. By saying denucleated, I mean to say that there is no nucleus. And all of us know that in the RBC, there is hemoglobin. And the function of the hemoglobin, we all know that it carries the oxygen, an important part of the life. This is the same metabolism. So, RBC is the same hemoglobin. How much hemoglobin is blood ke andar? per 100 milliliter? It is the same And then, bete, spleen is considered as the graveyard of RBC. By seeing the graveyard of RBC, I have an important point to understand. Ha, spleen graveyard hai RBC ke liye, but it is the graveyard for damaged RBC. 
जो आरबीसी डैमेज हुआ है उसके लिए ग्रेव यार्ड है अदरवाइज अगर कोई आरबीसी नॉर्मल है उसके लिए सिप्लीन ग्रेव यार्ड नहीं है आई कैन गो टू एन एक्सटेंड बाई से फॉर ए नॉर्मल आरबीसी इट हाउसेज सिप्लीन हाउसेज आर नॉर्मल आरबीसी इट ये एक घर है नॉर्मल आरबीसी के लिए Yes, for damaged RBC is a graveyard, and then beta the lifespan of the RBC is one twenty days. As all of us know that RBC live only for one twenty days. That's about the RBC. There are many things, many things about the RBC. But for now, in this video, we like restrict ourselves to this much. Itna yaad rahoge kafi hai beta need ke liye just and let's see. नंबर टू सेल दैट इज द मेगा कैरियो साइट और द प्लेटलेट जो प्लेटेड बेटा काउंट वन पॉइंट फाइव लैख टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लैख पर मिलीमीटर क्यूब ऑफ ब्लड दिस अकाउंट यू हैव टू मेमोराइज एवरी बिट ऑफ दिस लाइक जो बोर्ड पे जो भी दिखाया है एक एक वर्ड बेटा जबान याद रखना है एंड देन द फंक्शन द कमेंट अबाउट द प्लेटलेट इज दैट इट हेल्प इन हिमोस्टेसिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस वी हैव मैं दिस दैट इट हेल्प इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्लेटेड प्लॉग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लॉथ एंड देन इट्स इट इज द प्लाज मीन विच हेल्प इन द क्लॉथ द सोल्यूशन एंड देन अगेन बेटे लाइक द आर बी सी इज विदाउट न्यूक्लियस द प्लेटेड लाइक द आर बी सी डज नॉट हैव द न्यूक्लियस Then, but hey, that's about the platelet. Now you have three cells: the neutrophil, the eosinophil, and the basophil. We know these all three cells are the granulocytes. The neutrophil, the eosinophil, and the basophil. Regarding neutrophil, beta, it constitutes sixty to sixty-five percent WBC. जो white blood cell है, उसका sixty to sixty-five percent beta neutrophil है. What I'm trying to say is that it is the most abundant WBC, the neutrophil. and then is a first phagocytic cell by saying first phagocytic cell i mean to say agar kabhi kubar hamari body ke andar pathogen aa jata hai bacteria aa jata hai fungi aa jata hai virus aa jata hai jo pehli cell isko khane ki koshish karta hai phagocytosize karne ki koshish karta hai wo aapka neutrophil hai so is the first line army is kind of first line defense which try which attempts which contains the pathogen so thus i say is a first phagocytic cell and then beta it has a multilobed nucleus by saying multilobed nucleus is like this nucleus has many lobes nucleus has many lobes so there's a neutrophil which is a first phagocytic cell and besides is the most abundant wbc and then beta is the eosinophil again a granulocyte as we have already discussed it constitute 2 to 3% of wbc and then an important comment is that it is anti parasitic jo bhi parasite hamari body ke andar rehta hai for example there are like enterobius vermicularis there is ascaris jo sare parasite hamari body ke andar rehta hai unke khilaf agar koi cell ladta hai wo aapka eosinophil hai that's why i told you that i'm like telling you right now it is anti parasitic besides beta this eosinophil mediates allergy एलर्जी में क्या होता है एलर्जी एक ब्रॉड कंसेप्ट है जो हम यहाँ पे पूरे हिसाब से डिस्कस नहीं कर सकते लेकिन एक बात मैं बताता चलूँ एलर्जी में क्या होता है इंसान का इम्यून सिस्टम खुद ही अपने आप को डैमेज कर कर देता है इम्यून सिस्टम रिएक्ट्स अगेंस्ट द बॉडी इट सेल्फ दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज एलर्जी बट यस देर इज सम डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑटोमेट एंड एलर्जी वह वहाँ नहीं जाएंगे बस याद रखो कि एलर्जी में बॉडी का अपना आप ही डैमेज हो जाता है कैसे होता है क्या होता है इनशाला अगर टाइम मिला एलर्जी पे एक अलग वीडियो बनाएंगे अभी के लिए बैठे योसनोफिल कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिंग टू टू थ्री परसेंट ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सी बींग एन एंटी पैरासिटिक एंड देन इट हैज टू लोबर न्यूक्लियस एंड हेडफोन शेप न्यूक्लियस क्या मतलब उसका टू लोबर न्यूक्लियस यू सी हेयर ये इज अ सेल विद टू लोब्स दिस न्यूक्लियस विद टू लोब्स इफ यू लाइक नोट दिस डायग्राम आप देखो जैसे हेडफोन शेप उड़े That is why what I'm telling you is that it has two lobes, yes for sure, but the shape of the nucleus is headphone shaped. And then beta is the number fifth cell. There's a basophil again, a granulocyte, constituting the point five to one percent of the WBC. And you should be knowing is the most, rather is the least abundant WBC. The most abundant WBC is the neutrophil. The least abundant WBC is the basophil. 
और एक इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है बेटा जो ये परसेंटेज है जो काउंट है एक एक वर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट है एक एक वर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट है हैड इट नॉट बीन इंपॉर्टेंट मैं यहां दिखाता नहीं सो so, बेटे ये परसेंटेज जबान याद होनी चाहिए आपको देन अबाउट द बेजोफिल इट सिक्रेट द हिस्टामिन इट सिक्रेट द सेरोटोनिन इट सिक्रेट द हेपारिन सो so, ये सब्सटेंसेस बेजोफिल सिक्रेट करता है रिगार्डिंग द हेपारिन आई शुड बी टेलिंग यू द हेपारिन इज एंटी क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर मैंने आपको बोला क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर क्या होता है क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर एक ऐसा सब्सटेंस है जिससे फिब्रिन बनता है जो हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस किया प्रीवियस लेक्चर में लेकिन जो हिपैरिन है एक ऐसा सब्सटेंस है जो फिब्रिन को बनने नहीं देता जो सब्सटेंस फिब्रिन को नहीं बनने देगा बेटा उसको हम कहेंगे एंटी क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर एंड हिपैरिन इज एंटी क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर अनिवे दैट अबाउट दी सेल्स नंबर सिक्स सेल बेटा इज द मोनोसाइट सिक्स टू एट परसेंट ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सी and it is second phagocytic cell an interesting po point here that you have to like focus is that jab a pathogen ek virus ek bacteria ek fungi body ke andar aaya pehla cell jo usko maarne ki koshish karta hai beta wo hai aapka neutrophil which try to contain it jo maine pehle bola is a first phagocytic cell lekin jigga mera mere bete what happens sometime jab ye cell jab ye pathogen body ke andar aaya sometime this neutrophil is unable to contain this is unable to phagocytosize this is unable to kill this pathogen in that case when this fails another cell in the like background aur ek cell aa jati hai bete isko maarne ke liye wo wali cell jo hame second line aa jati hai jo is pathogen ko maarne ki koshish karte beta that is a monocyte thus we call it a second phagocytic cell and then mere bete Regarding monocyte, it has a horseshoe-shaped nucleus. What is a horseshoe-shaped nucleus? Is like this. This is a cell in the nucleus. If you have ever seen the the shoe of the horse, horse का जो like ये पाँव है अगर देखा होगा बेटा आपने वो बराबर ऐसा ही horseshoe-shaped होता है. So there's a shape of the nucleus of the monocyte. And then what is the number seven cell? Is the lymphocyte. We have already discussed that lymphocytes are three cells actually: the NK cell, the T cell, and the B cell, constituting 20 to 25 percent of the WBC. And these all three cells help in the immune system. How do they help in the immune system? That is the secondary topic. We cannot discuss that here. But in itna yaad rakhlo, ye hamara immune system hai, hamen help karta hai, immune mechanism hai, help karta hai. So, bete, that are the important counts and comments and properties of the cells that you should be remembering. Yes, lymphocyte is a part of immune system. It's a cell involved in the immune system, and we know that there are three cells: the NK cell, the T cell, and the B cell. About the lymphocytes, bete. वो वाले ऑर्गन बॉडी के अंदर जहां लिम्फोसाइट अराइज होता है और जहां ये ग्रो करता है यानी इट टेक द ऑरिजन एंड इट ग्रोज दो ऑर्गन इन द बॉडी दे आर नोन एज प्राइमरी लिम्फॉइड ऑर्गन बट इन कंपेरिजन टू प्राइमरी लिम्फॉइड ऑर्गन हमारी बॉडी के अंदर और कुछ ऐसे ऑर्गन होते हैं जहां लिम्फोसाइट अराइज तो नहीं ग्रो तो नहीं लेकिन लिम्फोसाइट प्रोलिफोरेट होता है लिम्फोसाइट बहुत सारे बाकी लिम्फोसाइट बनाता है those organs in the body where lymphocyte does not arise does not grow but divide into many other lymphocytes or forms many lymphocytes those organs in the body beta we call as secondary lymphoid organs so which are the primary lymphoid organs in the body is a bone marrow is a thymus and is the bursa of fabricius this bursa of the fabricius is present actually in the birds is the part of the primary lymphoid organ in the birds so beta which are the different secondary lymphoid organs is a spleen is a lymph node is a malt and is a prior patch so these organs are the secondary lymphoid organs and these organs are the primary lymphoid organs so coming back i tell i i will tell you that there are two types of lymphoid organs one is the primary and and the secondary where the lymphocyte arises and grow and where the lymphocyte does not arise does not grow but multiplies but divides into many other lymphocytes or forms many lymphocytes so beta having said that here only i also want to discuss the lymph beta ye blood vessel hai aur hame pata beta blood vessel se flow karta hai blood इन ब्लड वेसल फ्लोज द ब्लड और इस ब्लड वेसल का इस ब्लड का काम है सेल्स को ऑक्सीजन देना जब ये ब्लड वेसल सेल के पास पहुंचती है सम ऑफ द ब्लड इट लीक्स आउट सम ऑफ द ब्लड इट लीक्स आउट सम ऑफ द ब्लड इट लीक्स आउट 
कि सेल्स की हो जाता है कुछ ब्लड लीक आउट हो जाता है खुद ही लीक आउट हो जाता है एक्सेप्ट आरबीसी लीक आउट नहीं हो सकता है एक्सेप्ट प्लेटलेट्स लीक आउट नहीं होते हैं तो जगह मेरा जो ये फ्लूड लीक आउट हुआ सेल्स की ओर जिसके अंदर आरबीसी नहीं है जिसके अंदर प्लेटलेट नहीं है बेटा ये वाला फ्लूड वी कॉल इट एज अ लिम्फ और वी कॉल इट एज इंटर सिटिशियल फ्लूड इंटर सिटी शल फ्लूड और वी कॉल इट एज दिश्यू फ्लूड सो बेटा जो लिफ है ये एक्चुअली ब्लड से ही डिराइव हुआ है एट द लेवल ऑफ द सेल्स सम ब्लड लीक्स आउट ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल इन द टिश्यूज एक्सेप्ट आरबीसी एंड प्लेटलेस जो वहां नहीं जाता है सो जो फ्लूड है जिसके अंदर बराबर ब्लड जैसा है लेकिन आरबीसी नहीं है प्लेट प्लेटेड नहीं है बट ऐसे फ्लूड को हम कहते हैं लिम्फ और इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड और टिश्यू फ्लूड टॉपिक इन द ब्लड इज टू डिस्कस द ब्लड ग्रुपिंग यू नो बेटा समटाइम एनी वन आस्क यू वट टाइप ऑफ ब्लड यू हैव सम पीपल से दैट आई हैव ए पॉजिटिव ब्लड ग्रुप सम से आई हैव ए नेगेटिव ब्लड ग्रुप सम से आई हैव बी पॉजिटिव ब्लड ग्रुप सम से आई हैव बी नेगेटिव ब्लड ग्रुप एंड सम ओ पॉजिटिव सम ओ नेगेटिव वट एग्जैक्टली दिस ए पॉजिटिव ए नेगेटिव बी पॉजिटिव बी नेगेटिव दैट इज वॉट वी हैव टू डिस्कस हेयर बेटा You know the most abundant blood cell is the RBC, the red blood cell. And on the surface of this RBC, there are many proteins. There are n number of proteins. There are innumerable proteins on the surface of the RBC. And three important proteins on the surface of the RBC are one we call as A protein, another we call as a B protein, and another we call as a Rh protein. So, the process. of identification of these three proteins on the surface of rbc kya rbc ke surface pe ye teen protein locate hai ki nahi hai kya a hai ki nahi hai b hai ki nahi hai rh hai ki nahi hai but as a process ko hum kehte hain blood grouping as i have mentioned is a process of identifying proteins or antigens on the surface of the rbc so अगर आपको कोई पूछेगा बेटा व्हाट इज द ब्लड ग्रुपिंग ब्लड ग्रुपिंग एक ऐसा मैकेनिज्म है एक ऐसा प्रोसेस है जहां हम देखते हैं कि आरबीसी के सरफेस पे कौन कौन सा प्रोटीन लोकेट है और एसेंशियली विच प्रोटीन वी लुक फॉर इज द ए प्रोटीन बी प्रोटीन एंड आर प्रोटीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल हेयर ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ द बोर्ड This is RBC. You know RBC is a red blood cell, and on the surface of the RBC there is A protein, there is B protein, and there is R H protein. This type of blood group, this type of blood where the RBC has the A protein, B protein, and R H protein, beta we call as A B positive blood group. By saying A B positive, I mean to say that the surface of the RBC has the A protein, the surface of the RBC has B protein, and the surface of the RBC has R H protein. Positive, जो है ये charge नहीं है. Positive here in the blood grouping mean that there is R H protein. If there is no R H protein, it is indicated or shown by the negative sign. For example, the example two, you have the RBC and in an individual. एक ब्लड के अंदर एक ऐसी आरबीसी है जहां ए प्रोटीन है बी प्रोटीन है लेकिन आर एच नहीं है ऐसे को हम कहते हैं ब्लड को बेटा ए बी नेगेटिव बाय सिंग ए बी नेगेटिव आई मीन टू से ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द आरबीसी देर इज ए प्रोटीन ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द आरबीसी देर इज अ बी प्रोटीन एंड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द आरबीसी देर इज नो आर एच प्रोटीन सो इफ एनी individual if any person is saying that i have ab negative blood group what actually he mean to say is that on the surface of his rbc there is a protein there is a b protein and there is no r protein and then beta this is another rbc another individual the individual number 3 where the rbc that the individual have there is no a protein there is no b protein there is only r protein such blood group beta we call as O positive. O here indicate that there is no A, there is no B, and positive here indicate that there is R H protein. And then this is the fourth individual here with the R B C. 
this RBC does not contain A, does not contain B, does not contain RH. This type of blood group beta we call as O negative. So by saying O, I mean to say there is no A, there is no B. And by saying negative, I mean to say that there is no RH protein. So let's stop here for a second. If any person asks you or tells you that I have blood group O negative, what should come in your mind that in his blood, there is RBC. On that RBC, there is neither A, na to wahan pe A hai, na to wahan pe B protein hai, na to wahan pe RH protein hai. If any individual is telling you that I have a blood group O positive, uska matlab ye hoga ki uska jo blood hai, uske andar jo RBC hai, O ka matlab iske pas A nahi hai, B nahi hai. Positive ka matlab iske pas lekin RH protein hai. And similarly, bete, you look towards this side of the board again and other individual with the RBC in his blood, with the A protein and RH protein, this type of blood group we call as A positive. A mean that it has an A protein, positive mean that it has an RH protein. Similarly, you can now like name these all like uh, blood types or blood groups. This is an individual with the RBC having only A protein, we call it as A. Since there is no RH, call it negative. Similarly, this RBC has the B and RH. Because there is B, label it as a B, and because there is RH, label it as the positive. And similarly, this is B since the RBC have the B protein, but since there is no RH, label it as negative. So, beta, what I'm trying to say here again, if any individual is telling you that I'm B positive blood group, what he actually intends to say is that in his blood, there is the RBC. On that RBC, there is a B protein and there is the RH protein. Blood grouping or blood typing ko hum further discuss karenge. Lekin jisse pahle hum usko further discuss karen bethe. I need to introduce here an important concept about the antiparticles. But ek baat ab jaan lo. This is a law of nature. For every substance, there is an anti-substance. For every particle, there is an anti-particle. There is an enemy. For example, for the electron, there is an anti-electron. The positron. For the proton, there is antiproton. For neutron, there is an antiparticle we call as an antineutron. Similarly, Bete, as I told you, on the surface of the RBC, there are three proteins. The A protein, the B protein, and the RH protein. Beta, for A protein, yes, there exists an antiparticle. That antiparticle is known as anti-A. For B protein, yes, there exists an enemy. There exists an antiparticle. That antiparticle is known as anti-B. And yes, for RH protein, there exists an antiparticle. There exists an enemy. That antiparticle, that enemy, we call as the anti-RH. And you should be knowing, Betty, this enemy anti-A, anti-B, and anti-RH, in blood grouping or in blood, we say, we call these as the antibody or antibodies. So, anti-A is an antibody. Anti-B is an antibody. Anti-RH is an antibody. And by saying antibody, I mean to say antiparticle or enemy. So, let's discuss it further. Now, coming back to a topic that is the blood grouping, that is the blood typing. I should be telling you. Yes, in blood, there is RBC with A protein, B protein or RH protein. But what you should be knowing that besides these proteins in the blood, blood also contain the antiparticles, the antibodies, the enemies. It can be anti-A, it can be anti-B, it can be anti-RH. So, to see which protein is present in the blood and to see which antibody or antiparticle or enemy is present in the blood, we will discuss that in this part of the video. Having said that, blood ke under protein bhi hoga, antigen bhi hoga, yani A hoga, B hoga, RH hoga, or blood ke under antibody bhi hoga, antiparticle bhi hoga, yani anti A, anti B, anti RH. Now, the thing that we have noticed here, which we have to learn here, is to determine that one blood will be in which antigen and one blood will be in which antiparticle. That is what we have to see here. So, for that sake of matter, let's take the first example. Here is the A positive. One individual has a blood group A positive. 
सो वट वी हैव टू आंसर हियर इज दैट कि इस ए पॉजिटिव ब्लड ग्रुप के अंदर कौन कौन सा प्रोटीन है और कौन सा एंटी प्रोटीन है कौन सा एंटी पार्टिकल है कौन सा एंटीबॉडी है सो हाउ यू डू इट टू सी द प्रोटीन इट इज इजी बिकॉज इट इज ए पॉजिटिव इट मीन इट हैज ए एंटीजन एंड बाई सिंग पॉजिटिव इट मीन इट हैज आर एच एंटीजन सो एन इंडिविजुअल विथ ए पॉजिटिव ब्लड ग्रुप हैज ए एंटीजन इन द ब्लड एंड आर एच एंटीजन इन द ब्लड बट थिंग गेट्स ट्रिक वेन यू हैव टू सी कि कौन सी एंटीबॉडी प्रेजेंट है ब्लड के अंदर For that beta, I have devised an equation that is to find out the antibody. Antibody के लिए beta it is equal to anti antigen absent. I will explain. For example, in here, A is present, R is present, but which antigen is absent? B antigen is absent here. So the antibody that is present is by equation anti. Which antigen is absent is a B. So here will be the anti B anti particle present in this type of blood group. so let's see the example 2 which will make concept more clearer so bete a negative individual a negative blood group and again we have to see which antigen is present and which anti particle or antibody is present since it's a negative it will mean only a antigen is present and to see which antibody is present use the equation anti antigen absent If you see बेटे यहां पे दो एंटीजन एबसेंट है एक तो बी एंटीजन एबसेंट है और तो आर एच एंटीजन एबसेंट है सो बेटे इन हेयर देर विल बी टू एंटीबॉडीज वन इज एंटी बी एंड अनदर इज एंटी आर एच सिमिलरली बेटे लेट्स फोकस टू दर्ड एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी देर आर इंडिविजुअल विद बी पॉजिटिव ब्लड ग्रुप एंड अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कि इसके ब्लड के अंदर कौन सा प्रोटीन है और इसके ब्लड के अंदर कौन सा एंटी प्रोटीन है कौन सा एंटी पार्टिकल है कौन सा एंटीबॉडी है सो बाय नेम इज बी पॉजिटिव सो इट इज सेइंग दैट इट हैज अ बी एंटीजन एंड इट हैज अ आर एच एंटीजन एंड टू फिगर आउट विच एंटीबॉडी और विच एंटी पार्टिकल इज प्रेजेंट देर इज दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज एंटीबॉडी इज इक्वल टू एंटी एंटीजन एबसेंट इफ यू सी हियर द एंटीजन दैट इज एबसेंट इज ओनली वन दैट इज अ एंटीजन सो using the equation it is anti antigen absent the antigen absent is a so it will have the anti particle a in the blood so moving further to the next example that is a b negative again bete since the b negative it has only b antigen now you focus you tell me beta what kind of antibody will be present you have to do nothing just see which antigen is absent the antigen which is absent the anti particle to that is present the antibody is equal to anti antigen absent so since there is a absent and rh absent there will be anti a and an t r h similarly beta you can do the remaining examples let's move further to this a po b po a b positive sorry so beta a b positive jo hai इसके पास इसके ब्लड के अंदर ए प्रोटीन होगा बी प्रोटीन होगा और आर एच प्रोटीन होगा क्योंकि ये वहां से बोल रहा है नाम से ए बी पॉजिटिव मेरे पास ए है मेरे पास बी है मेरे पास पॉजिटिव यानी आर एच है अब हमें देखना है बेटा कौन सा एंटीबॉडी प्रेजेंट है डू नॉट थिंग डू नॉट थिंग बेटा जस्ट डू वन थिंग दैट इज एंटीबॉडी इज इक्वल टू एंटी एंटीजन एबसेंट Which antigen is absent in this? If you see, all antigens are present. So since there are all antigens present, no anti particle will be present in this blood. Let's move further to this example. Even again, too. Again, we have to see that is blood. Ke under, which kind of protein is and which kind of antibody is. So, beta A B negative means A is B is negative means R is not there. So, to see which antibody is present, do nothing, beta. Use the equation. Use the equation. Anti antigen absent. Which antigen is absent is R H. So. Here the antibody is Rh, anti-Rh. Moving further is a O positive blood group. So if you see by saying O, there is no A, there is no B, there is only positive. That is the Rh. So to see now which antibody is present, again use the equation that is anti-antigen absent. So that is if you see in this two antigens are absent. One is A and one is B. So anti-A. And anti B. 
So similarly, beta, this is the last example. Can you do it? You try it yourselves. You, you can pause the video and then continue. Anyway, this is the last example. O negative. And to see which protein is present, which antigen is present, if you see by saying O, matlab yahan pe A nahi hai, matlab yahan pe B nahi hai. By saying negative, matlab yahan pe RH pe nahi hai. And now to see the antibody, to see the antiparticle, use the equation. That is anti-antigen absent. Koon koon sa antigen dara yahan pe absent hai? Yahan A bhi absent hai, B bhi absent hai, RH bhi hai. So bitte, yahan anti-A hai, anti-B hai, or mera bitte, anti-RH hai. So bitte, that's how you determine which protein is present and which antiparticle is present or which antibody is present. So, otherwise, what do you want to do? If you don't remember this equation, you have to remember this table. You have to remember this table. But using this equation, it makes the things easier. Just remember, to see the antibody, use the equation. Antibody is equal to anti-antigen absent. The antigen absent is the antibody present. As easy as that. The other thing about blood grouping and blood typing is that to understand a concept. For example, an individual has an accident. Hua. Blood loss has a As a doctors, we have to put the blood in the body. So, which blood can we do as doctors? For example, we have a positive individual. This accident has blood loss. Hua. So, as doctors, what type of blood can we put into the body of the A positive? So, for that beta, what kind of blood that you can put into the body? There is this sentence which will certainly help you. Blood, what kind of blood can I put into the body of A positive if he meets an accident? So, beta, all types of blood. All types of blood you can put in the body except for its antibody. For example, in this scenario, A positive, antibody is against the B. जो ये A positive ये हर एक से खून ले सकता है, हर एक से खून ले सकता है, लेकिन वहाँ पे B alphabet नहीं होना चाहिए. For example, can it receive blood from A positive? Yes, I tell you, it can receive blood from A positive. Can it receive blood from A negative? Yes, it can receive blood from A negative. Can it receive blood from B positive? No, it cannot receive blood from B positive because there is the alphabet B, so B से can it receive blood from B negative? Again, no. It cannot receive blood from B negative. Again, because there is this alphabet B, alphabet B, so it cannot receive blood from B negative. Can it receive blood from AB positive? Again, no, because there is B alphabet in this blood. It cannot receive the blood from AB positive. Can it receive blood from AB negative? Again, no, because there is this alphabet B in the blood so it cannot receive blood from AB negative. Can it receive blood from O positive? Yes, it can receive blood from O positive because there is no alphabet B. Can it receive blood from O negative? Yes, it will receive the blood from O negative. Continuing this with the second example for, to make it more clear is that for example this is the individual A negative or is accident hua. अब जो एक्सीडेंट हुआ हमें अब खून चढ़ाना है कौन सा खून हम चढ़ा सकते हैं इस पेशेंट के अंदर इस ए नेगेटिव के अंदर कहता है हमारा सेंटेंस ऑल कोई भी खून है चढ़ा दो एक्सेप्ट फॉर इट एंटीबॉडी अगर आप यहां देखो बेटा ए नेगेटिव के अंदर एंटीबॉडी बी के खिलाफ है और ए नेगेटिव के अंदर एंटीबॉडी आर एच खिलाफ है सो so आप हर एक खून खून चढ़ा दो हर एक खून चढ़ा दो लेकिन वहां पे बी अल्फाबेट नहीं होना चाहिए या पॉजिटिव या आर एच अल्फाबेट नहीं होना चाहिए सो can it receive blood from A positive? I say no because there is the positive sign. Can it receive blood from the A negative? Yes, it can receive the blood from the A negative. Can it receive blood from B positive? I say no because there is an alphabet B. Can it receive blood from B negative? Again, no because there is an alphabet B. Can it receive blood from A B positive? I again say no because there is B and there is positive the RH sign. Can it receive see the blood from a b negative i again say no because there is the alphabet b can it receive blood from o positive can it i say again no because there is positive that is there is rh it cannot receive even blood from the o positive can it receive blood from o negative yes it can receive blood from the o negative so continuing with the third example 
ताकि पूरा समझ आ जाए आपको अच्छी तरीके से मैं सारे एग्जांपल खुद ही दिखा दूंगा आपको बेटे ताकि आप ये अंडरस्टैंड करो कि कौन सा खून हम चढ़ा सकते हैं एक बंदे के अंदर फॉर एग्जांपल देयर इज एन इंडिविजुअल बी पॉजिटिव इसका एक्सीडेंट हुआ अब कौन सा खून चढ़ाओगे बेटा कुछ नहीं करना है ब्लड हर एक टाइप ऑफ खून ऑल टाइप ऑफ ब्लड यू हैव इंजेक्ट दैट पुट इन द बॉडी एक्सेप्ट फॉर इट एंटीबॉडी अगर आप बी पॉजिटिव देखो बेटा इसके पास एंटीबॉडी ए के खिलाफ है सो यू पुट एवरी टाइप ऑफ ब्लड यू वांट जस्ट उस ब्लड के अंदर ए नहीं होना चाहिए ए के बगैर हर एक टाइप ऑफ खून हर एक टाइप ऑफ ब्लड यू कैन पुट इन द बॉडी सो कैन यू रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ए पॉजिटिव ओबियसली नॉट बिकॉज देयर इज ए अल्फाबेट कैन रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ए नेगेटिव अगेन नो कैन यू रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम बी पॉजिटिव यस इट कैन रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम बी पॉजिटिव फ्रॉम बी नेगेटिव यस कैन यू रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ए बी पॉजिटिव नो बिकॉज देयर इज अल्फाबेट ए can it receive blood from ab negative no again because there is alphabet a in the ab negative can it receive blood from o positive yes it will receive can it receive blood from o negative yes again it will receive the blood so what i am trying to say you can put every type of blood into an individual other than for which it has the antibody this alphabet ke khilaf iske paas antibody hai this protein ke khilaf iske paas antibody hai wo wala protein mat dal do uske bagair jo aapko khoon available hai dal do लेट्स सी द फोर्थ एग्जाम्पल बी नेगेटिव इंडिविजुअल है इसका एक्सीडेंट हुआ अब खून चढ़ाना है इसके अंदर कौन सा खून चढ़ाओगे एज डॉक्टर्स सो बेटा जस्ट वन सेंटेंस दैट यू मेमोराइज इज दैट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लड वट एवर यू हैव देयर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लड पुट दैट इन द ऑर्गेनिज्म पुट दैट इन द ह्यूमन एक्सेप्ट फॉर इट एंटीबॉडी इफ यू सी द बी नेगेटिव बेटा इट हैज एंटी फॉर ए एंड एंटीबॉडी फॉर आर एच सो बेटे जी जिस खून के अंदर ए है और आर एच है या पॉजिटिव साइन है वो वाला खून नहीं चढ़ाओ उसके बाद जो भी खून है चढ़ाओ क्या ये खून ए पॉजिटिव से ले सकता है नहीं ए पॉजिटिव से नहीं लेगा क्योंकि वहां पे ए अल्फाबेट है और उसमें पॉजिटिव साइन है क्या ए नेगेटिव से लेगा नहीं ए नेगेटिव से भी नहीं ले सकता क्योंकि अगेन देर इज ए क्या बी पॉजिटिव से ले सकता है पॉजिटिव है वहां पर क्योंकि पॉजिटिव है आर एच है पॉजिटिव से भी नहीं ले सकता क्या बी नेगेटिव से हा बी नेगेटिव से ले सकता है कैन इट टेक और रिसीव द ब्लड फ्रॉम ए बी पॉजिटिव नो इट कैन नॉट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ए बी पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इन ए बी पॉजिटिव देर इज अल्फाबेट ए एंड देर इज आर एच फ्रॉम ए बी नेगेटिव अगेन नो बिकॉज इन ए बी नेगेटिव देर इज अल्फाबेट ए इट कैन नॉट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम दैट कैन इट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ओ पॉजिटिव नो इट विल नॉट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ओ पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इन ओ पॉजिटिव देर इज द आर एच can it receive blood from o negative yes definitely it receive the blood from o negative so the next example is ab positive now you tell me better let's wait uh, here for a second uh, you focus a bit better you have to see beta ab positive ka accident hua aur ab tumhe as a doctor khoon chadana hai kaun sa khoon chadaoge beta kehte hai the sentence tells us that all type of blood you have you put that in the individual except for which antibody lekin agar aap yahan pe dekho bete in the ab positive there is no antibody since there is no antibody so it can receive blood from every other type of blood it can receive blood from a a positive it can receive blood from a negative b positive b negative ab positive ए बी नेगेटिव ओ पॉजिटिव एंड ओ नेगेटिव सो बेटे द ए बी पॉजिटिव कैन रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम एवरी अदर ब्लड ग्रुप बिकॉज देयर इज नो एंटीबॉडी इन द ए बी पॉजिटिव इस ए बी नेगेटिव इंडिविजुअल का एक्सीडेंट हुआ ब्लड लॉस हुआ एज डॉक्टर तुम्हें खून चढ़ाना है कुछ नहीं करना बेटे जस्ट रिमेंबर द सिंपल सेंटेंस दैट आई हैव रिटन हियर दैट इज ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लड हर एक से ए बी नेगेटिव खून लेगा हर एक से खून लेगा एक्सेप्ट फॉर इट एंटीबॉडी सो बेटे किसके खिलाफ इसके पास एंटीबॉडी है आर एच के खिलाफ सो बेटा जहां जहां तुम्हें पॉजिटिव साइन दिखे वहां से खून ही लेगा अदर देन दैट इट कैन रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम एवरी अदर टाइप ऑफ ब्लड कैन इट रिसीव नाउ ब्लड फ्रॉम ए पॉजिटिव नो इट इज अ पॉजिटिव साइन कैन इट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम ए नेगेटिव डेफिनेटली येस कैन इट रिसीव ब्लड फ्रॉम B positive no. Can it receive blood from B negative? Yes. Can it receive blood from AB positive? No, because in AB positive there is positive. It will not receive blood from that. AB negative yes. O negative yes. O positive no, because in O positive there is a positive sign. It will receive blood from every other blood type 
other than why there is a positive sign. The other example is O positive. So, if an O positive accident happened, the sentence tells us all types of blood you want to put, you can put, other than for which there is the antibody. So, if you see in the O positive blood group, there is anti A and anti B. So this O positive will receive blood from every other type of blood. Lekin waha pe A nahi hona chahiye. Or B wo alphabet nahi hona chahiye. So Jigar Mera, can you receive blood from A positive? No. Can you receive blood from A negative? No. Can you receive blood from B positive? No. B negative? No. Can you receive blood from A B positive? No. Because in A B positive there is A and B. Can you receive blood from A B negative? No. Can you receive blood from O positive? Yes, it can receive. Can you receive blood from O negative? Yes, it will receive blood from O negative. So, quoting the last example, Bete, you try this example by yourselves. Mm, you can pause the video. It may like help you. Anyways, let me show you O negative. Agar is O negative ka beta accident hua, juhi accident hua, ab khun chadana hai. What kind of blood can you put into the organism, into the individual is all. Every type of blood you want, put that into the individual. Except for which antibody. If you see, it has antibody for A alphabet, for B alphabet, for RH alphabet. So beta, jis jis blood ke andar A, B or RH hai, other than that, it will receive blood from every other type. For example, can you receive blood from A positive? No. A positive under A or R H. Isse to khun nahi le sakta. A negative? Nahi. Wah A hai. B positive. B or R H nahi le sakta isse. B negative? Nahi le sakta. B negative. A B positive? Nahi le sakta. A B negative? Nahi le sakta. Because A B negative ke under A hai or B hai. O positive, O positive से भी नहीं ले सकता है क्योंकि O positive के अंदर R H है, उससे भी नहीं लेगा. O negative, हाँ जी, O negative से लेगा. So बेटे जो O negative blood group है, it can receive blood only from the O negative blood group. So बेटे, if you notice that O negative can give blood to the O negative, it can give blood to the O positive, it can give blood to the AB negative, O negative, O negative, O negative, O negative, O negative. So what I'm trying to say, if there is any individual who has met accident, you can blindly give O negative blood to any patient without knowing his or her blood type. So what is the thing is that O negative is a universal donor. It can donate blood to every other blood type. And besides that, Bete, what you have to also notice, the AB positive blood can receive blood from A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, O negative. So, this AB positive blood group is considered as universal acceptor. So, Bete, the O negative is the universal donor, while as the AB positive is the universal acceptor. The last topic in blood is an important concept, you focus. The RH positive male marries, which cross about is coming with shadi karna, RH negative female. So by saying RH positive male, I mean to say jo male hai uske RBC ke upar RH protein hai and by saying RH negative female, I mean to say on the RBC of the female, there is no RH protein. So these two have decided that they will marry. Or RH positive male ne shadi ki RH negative female ke saath. So jika mein junior ne shadi ki, ab jo inka bachcha hai, there are odds, there is a probability jo pahala bachcha hai, wo RH positive bhi paida ho sakta hai, RH negative bhi paida ho sakta hai. Lekin is wali scenario ke andar kya hoa beta, jo pahala bachcha hai, it is RH positive. Then mera beta, जब पहला बच्चा पैदा हुआ, in the second pregnancy, अगर second fetus, which have the equal odds, कि वो RH positive भी पैदा हो सकता है, RH negative भी पैदा हो सकता है, लेकिन बेटे, अगर second pregnancy के अंदर भी, second बच्चा भी, RH positive ही है, तो बेटा एक बात जान लो, take it for sure, कि जो second fetus है, उसकी जो RBC है, वो damage होने वाली है, वो खराब होने वाली है, वो तबा होने वाली है, बेटे एक ऐसी fatal disease है, जिस condition को हम कहते हैं बेटे, जिस disease को हम कहते हैं, erythroblastosis fetalis, so anyone asks you what is the erythroblastosis fetalis, is a disease which damage the RBC of the second fetus, second RH positive fetus, अब सवाल उठेगा जाहिर सर जो ये सेकंड फीटस है इसका आरबीसी क्यों डैमेज हुआ बेटा दैट इज बियॉन्ड द स्कोप इन दिस वीडियो आई कैन नॉट लाइक 
discuss that inshallah for that we'll make a next video for now just remember whenever an rh positive male marry an rh negative female if the first fetus is the rh positive then if the second fetus is again the rh positive the second fetal rbc will get damaged and that disease beta we call as the erythroblastosis fetalis the another question arises does we have any medicine for that? Does we have any treatment for that? Yes, beta, we have a treatment for that. To cure this condition, you have an injection prepared. We call that injection as NTD or Rogam. So beta, that's all about the erythroblastosis fetalis I can share for now. And that's all about the blood. Thank you.